The new route is training suit just released with nine different color variations with more possibly on the way. I was able to get my hands on these to check them out firsthand. They're supposed to be lightweight with decent cushioning, good for medium runs as well as indoor and outdoor workouts. I'm here to give you my first impressions and let you know if they are what they say they are. What's going on wrestling fans? My name is Josiah and welcome to Fanco Wrestling. And I am a huge fan of Rudis. You probably don't know this about me, but most of my closet is actually made up of Rudis gear. Shirts, hats, I even have a pair of slides on. And I'm going to be throwing on these new Rudis Journey shoes to let you know exactly how they feel. Now I am a runner, I like to work out, and I am somebody who has had problems with running shoes in the past. I used to wear Nike, I wear Brooks right now. I love my Brooks shoes, they're super well cushioned. So I'm interested to see if these Rudis shoes actually hold up. Now I'm not going to do a 10 mile run right now. I'm not going to run a marathon, but I will do a little test run to let you know exactly what I think. Typically, if you throw on a shoe that has nice cushioning, you know it. I haven't even tested these shoes out yet, so we'll see how they are. Now, if you are a runner or you like to work out like me, you're going to want to make sure that you stick around till the end of this video where I have an announcement just for you. So let's open up the box and see what they actually look like inside. Now, this box is super, super cool. I'm a huge fan of nice packaging and Rudis does that really well. They include laces actually in with their shoes with your purchase and they have a nice little note just letting you know about handling and, and all that which is kind of cool as well. Now as we get into these they are journey that's what the shoes are actually called and I mean what a beautiful beautiful shoe. As I take it out, I actually have a size nine and a half. I typically wear a nine or a nine and a half. My Brooks shoes that I run in that I said uh, are a nine and a half. It has some cushioning to it. It feels maybe a bit stiff where this little bit is right here. As far as the regular aesthetic of it, like what does it actually look like? I like it. I like how it looks. I went with the gray and, and the black. I think this is called the Stingray uh, color variation, which is kind of neat. There are a whole bunch, the nine different color variations. Uh, some are coming in and out of stock. It says Rudis, a way of life right there on the back of the shoe. And then the sole, I mean, it's pretty darn nice as well. You can see it all up and down here what the shoe actually does look like on the bottom. And then the inside, the sole is actually pretty nice too. So let's take this out, see, feel around a little bit. Let's see what the cushioning actually feels like it does feel a little bit like stiff so we'll see how that comes across in the run there is some support back here it's not like a ton of cushion like my Brooks shoes but it does feel like there's more cushion than like a typical Nike running shoe I will never go back to Nike running shoes I just think they're absolutely terrible so I hope these new Rudis shoes actually do hold up but let's head outside now so I can actually test out these shoes on a quick little run after trying these on for the first time, I actually do like them. I was a little bit worried about the size. Like I said, I had a nine and a half. I typically wear a nine. The Brooks actually felt like they were bigger. These fit pretty snug. I still have a little bit of wiggle room, but I don't feel like there's that like gap whenever you whenever you run and like it there's like an indent in the front of the shoe i don't have that whenever i'm wearing these which is good the one thing i will say like once i started tying my shoes i felt like the laces could be a bit shorter but that's just a problem i have with every single running shoe so let me head out on a run now a quick run around the neighborhood to test these out see how they actually are well i'm back and I like them. So I'll be real with you as far as my first impressions about the new Rudis Journey training shoe. And after running a little bit in them, like I said, I didn't run three miles, didn't run five miles, just did a little lap to see how they actually felt. And I did like the way they felt. It doesn't have as much cushion as my Brooks running shoes. And I don't think they're necessarily supposed to. So if that's what you want, I would go with a Brooks training shoe. Uh, I have the Brooks Ghost 13, but if you're looking for like a nice training shoe, like maybe you're lifting in them, maybe you're just going for little workouts, indoor track workouts, whatever that may be, I don't think it's gonna be that uh, big of a deal. So whenever I'm talking cushion, I'm really talking about the back part of this shoe. As you can see here, the Brooks has a little bit more to the back of it where Brutus is just a little bit more thin. It's not the end of the world, but like for me, I, I need a little bit more thickness to my shoe. The reason for that is because I've had bad experiences with uh, like Nike shoes where there was literally no support. Now I do feel like there is actually support here with the Brutus shoe. And as far as cushion on the bottom, uh, these shoes are actually pretty nice. I, I do like the bottom cushion here. I do feel like there is some spring uh, as far as like 
like these I've had these for I don't, I don't know six months now so it's kind of faded away I, I was due for a new pair of training shoes but overall do I like the shoe heck yeah I like it Rudis typically puts out a quality product and I think the journey training shoe is no different it seems like a very quality product to me now it's perfect for those medium distance runners that three to five mile range I would call medium distance not like a marathon but if you are somebody like I told you at the beginning of this video to stick around because you like to work out you like to run uh, then you're going to want to hear about the Fanco 5k this is a virtual challenge uh, where I want to bring together wrestlers wrestling fans their families to a challenge event the rudest training shoe inspired me to put on this event because I know how much the wrestling community gets behind working out I thought this was a great way to get everybody together challenge themselves to a race plus you're going to get some exclusive perks along the way including an exclusive Fanco 5k race t-shirt access to exclusive vlogs and a donation to a wrestling based charity if that's something that interests you you can check that out at fanco5k.com